Praise of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray for our brother that he will share in Christ's victory and let us pray for ourselves that the Lord may grant us the gift of loving consolation. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised up from the dead, the first fruit of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Bill, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joys of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We know that the tent that we live in on earth is folded up. There is a house built by God for us, an everlasting home, not made by human hands, in the heavens. We are always full of confidence then when we remember that to live in the body means to be exiled from the Lord, going as we do by faith, not by sight. We are full of confidence, I say, and actually want to be exiled from the body and make my home with the Lord. Whether you are living in the body or exiled from it, we are intent on pleasing Him. For all the truth about us will be brought out to the law court of Christ, and each of us will get what he deserves for the things he did in the body, good or bad. This is the word of the Lord. Thank Our response is, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and with your staff. With this you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing Surely kind, goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing else The Lord be with you. With with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord. We join our prayers to His. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
in baptism will receive his light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our brother Bill was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families and friends have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer unjustly the sins against your love, and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Bill seek comfort and consolation, heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother Bill. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now my brothers and sisters, with longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we have given us our trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Bill, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Bill again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will despair in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. In baptism, Bill share in the death and resurrection of Christ. May he be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Bill in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will arise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Bill in this life. There are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. Until all we meet in Christ and with you and with our brother Bill, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, may every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. Now, maybe somebody wants to say a few words about Bill. We have somebody volunteering. <laughs> well, I know Bill from the church. He was a very quiet man. But, you know, whenever you didn't have the opportunity to talk with him privately, he always have a joke hidden for you. <laughs> always share that. And as far as I know, knowing being over here over 10 years, I know he was an excellent accountant. And I know some of the people that were saying he saved the people 
of paying our dues to the government. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was a good thing, and we were going to be missing him, and it was actually a very big surprise for me. But, you know, I should say, Billy was always ready to accept the way of God, whatever it was happening to him. And he never talked too much about himself. I never had too much information. I did have the, you know, uh, some input from my secretary because her husband was born in Netherlands. So they were the countrymen, so they have um, something in common. But after when he died and I got the phone call from his brother, I was completely confused because the phone number it was coming from Romania. <laughs> so I wasn't sure it was Romanian or, uh, you know, Dutch or wasn't sure, but I straightened out that today. So, <laughs> so he took me by the surprise, but I know he's going to be missing in our life, but he knew the way. And that's what it was by the honesty, trying to follow the God's way and trying to be honest with himself and with the people. So we want to be thanking him for being among us and hopefully we can meet with him again whenever our time is going to come. Rest in peace. Somebody else want to say two words or? Well, just to confirm about him saving people a lot of money. <laughs> 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 I think it's universal. And... So he might be arguing with God now. <laughs> Absolutely, about the cost of entering through the gate. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know who's going to be in charge of whether it's St. Peter or Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> But we thought one thing that was interesting was he he was open every day like he, he always talked about his hours being yeah. and he was always when he came to visit he was very concerned about getting back to make sure he would take care of his appointments he wanted to make sure to come down to see family but he wanted to make sure to get back to take care of all the friends he made here so it was very important to him. actually what i learned from herman he was always trying to give keep in touch with the family as well one of the things I believe what Herman told me, he was quite surprised if I'm not wrong, it was Herman's uh, birthday sometimes this week that when he died or something. Oh, could be. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. He said he was waiting for the phone call from Bill, but it wasn't, so he knew it something happened. Yeah. He had called and, and tried to reach out. Yeah. And yeah. he had a schedule. If you look on his calendar, it was hard because of the hours difference, but would call Tina's dad. And uh, Ted's mom and things on a kind of regular schedule. Yeah. So I have to keep in touch. Anyway, well, let's go ahead and continue. Our brother Bill has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who more be reunited one day with our brother Bill. Together we meet with Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. Let us pray. <clears throat> God of endless ages, through the disobedience of your law, we fell from grace and death entered the world. But through the obedience and resurrection of your Son, you revealed to us a new life. You granted Abraham, our father in faith, a burial place in the promised land. You prompted Joseph of Arimathea to offer his own tomb for a burial of the Lord. In the spirit of repentance, we earnestly ask you to look upon this grave and bless it, so that while we commit to the the ashes of our brother Bill, his soul may be taken into paradise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our brother Bill from this life to himself, we commit his ashes to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn of the dead. So let us commend our brother Bill to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day.
God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant Bill. Do not count his deeds against him. For his heart, he desired to do your will, and his faith unite him to your people on earth. So may your mercy join him to the angels of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and ask for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful, and you are attentive to the prayers of humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need, and strengthen their hope in lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And may his soul and all the souls of faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all our understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And now, mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ.